One of the biggest mysteries I actually have thought about in Dragon Ball Super Superhero, the movie, when I watched the all the way from beginning to end, I noticed the whole battle between Goku and Vegeta. Now, apparently Vegeta won the battle. However, I somehow get the feeling that that battle was somehow a bit rigged. By looking at Goku's face, it kind of feels like to me... He purposely lost. Somehow. Now, as crazy as that kind of sounds, but let's go ahead and talk about it today. Sup my awesome mad lads, my name is Mad Dog, and welcome back to another Mad Theory. Yes, we're actually going back to Dragon Ball Theory here, because one, I've done one before, and this is the second time they're doing it for Dragon Ball. But the reason why I'm talking about the battle between Goku and Vegeta and it's Dragon Ball Super Superhero is because something just did not feel right to me about the whole, well, fight. And then afterwards, when Vegeta won, Goku just somehow just faintly collapsed. Unless that was the whole point that he just got tired or he purposely fell down to the ground. Now, there's also consideration in the manga that there's a reason why Vegeta actually won the fight due to how he was fighting. If you want to check that out, I suggest you go ahead and check Blackscape's video on that one because he actually brings that up specifically about the Dragon Ball Super manga. However, the manga is a little bit different compared to the anime version of the fight, so I'm going to try to only go through the analysis of the anime fight only. So first off, I wanted to figure out the original battles that they had together ever since from the very beginning that they met. First off, the Dragon Ball Z Saiyan arc. Now first off, they both had no ba they had no transformations whatsoever during in that fight. Goku and Vegeta, no Super Saiyan, they had no idea about it, they had no chance, they had no idea how to unlock it at the first place. It was all pretty good, and plus they didn't even need God Key powers. Their powers were off the charts already as it was before they went to God Power. And it was all pretty much good from here, except for one big difference. Goku's Kaioken first off when he did that beam clash against Vegeta's Gallic Gun. By using Kaioken times 4, that's how Goku won the battle beam struggle. But then later on onwards during that battle, Vegeta decides to actually go even a further step higher by actually using the burst open and mix, an artificial moon that allows Vegeta to transform into a great ape. And this was when Vegeta had his tail back at that time. And by doing so in the process, Vegeta actually won by literally crushing Goku as a great ape, which was severely painful. So yeah, you could say that Goku could have had the chance to win if he actually did the Kaioken, but then, aside the fact from Vegeta turning to a great ape, technically Vegeta took the one here in this one. And by the way, I'm literally talking about like the original Vegeta only, because sometimes most of the fights that Goku has had, like baby Vegeta and also like, you know, clone Vegeta from those fights, they, they didn't even involve with the original. They're just basically clones of him or like, you know, those that possessed Vegeta or something like that. It wasn't really the real deal. Anyways, then we go straight into the Boo saga. Super Saiyan 2 Goku versus Ma versus Super Saiyan 2 Majin Vegeta. Now, apparently in the Majin Buu arc, when Majin Vegeta was actually fighting Goku, he actually won the battle by just using one powerful, unexpected punch. And that was literally just it. And they were both actually in power with both Super Saiyan 2, but aside from the fact that Vegeta had his a bit of a power boost, thanks to Babidi's magic, turning him also into Majin Vegeta. So technically speaking, I mean, Vegeta has pretty much won against Goku a few times, actually, now I think about it. And technically this makes no different to what we see now in Dragon Ball Super Superhero. However, this is what kind of gets me a little bit. If Goku were to say that he actually said that Vegeta got him in the fight and actually managed to knock him down, Goku would have just easily managed to be able to get himself back up even if he did fall down. So why on earth did Goku actually say that? 
You see, involving with this battle particularly, they involved with no key blasts, no transformations whatsoever. It was nothing. This also included Kaioken, which was also considered to be as a multiplier. So, yeah, no multipliers either. And due to the fact with Vegeta's new technique that he learned about ever since the fight with Jiren with his meditation, it kind of makes a lot of sense due to the fact that Vegeta was kind of like holding back a little bit, but this was enough to actually prove to be a little bit more unexpected in some terms. And that is true, actually. And by the way, Goku did also learn everything about meditation in one of his past adventures, after when he actually defeated Frieza, for example, in Planet Namek. It's strange, however, that Goku actually just somehow forgets straight up about meditation. Like, he's done it before. Why on earth would he forget about it? And why would he think that it's a useless technique? Well, then again, Goku being Goku, as we all know, due to the fact that he's hit his head and he's kind of always acting like this nowadays, especially in his adulthood, okay? Which is unfortunate because he should probably know this by now, that this isn't just all about, you know, just being the strongest fighter in the universe. Unless there is something that Goku is actually not telling the others, nor Vegeta, about this. Is this a reason the why Goku was actually like, you know, decided to just give in and just let Vegeta be the winner? Does- was Goku really actually holding back? Could he just managed to just freaking stand up and just kept on going and then he would have taken Vegeta out somehow? Probably. I feel like whatever the heck is gonna happen, whether it happens specifically in the Dragon Ball Super manga especially, I feel like we're getting the feeling that Goku may have a chance of actually show what exactly he was talking about. And if there's any chances of that Goku was holding back during that fight against Vegeta is Super Hero, then, well, I guess we're about to find out and see what would actually happen. But I think that should be enough for now for the time being. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think that Goku was actually holding back this entire time during that fight in Dragon Ball Super Super Hero? Does he actually remember the whole point of meditation and holding back? What does he know? Does he not know anything at all even perhaps? Does he even remember about meditation? Let me know about those thoughts, okay? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the notification bell to never miss a video. And remember, stay safe, stay healthy. And as always, my name is Mad Dog, and let your days be mad and rad.